This video walks you through the installation and setup process of the Link Wi-Fi module. Download the latest version of the Rainbird mobile app from the App Store or Google Play. Hold your phone next to the Rainbird controller and verify the signal strength of the network that the Wi-Fi module will be connected to. If the signal is weak, you may want to consider moving either the controller or the router so that they are closer together, or adding a Wi-Fi signal booster to the network. Insert the Link Wi-Fi module into the accessory port of your Rainbird controller. The light on the Link Wi-Fi module should start blinking, alternating between red and green, which means it's broadcasting an access point signal, also known as a hotspot. Open the Wi-Fi connection menu on your smartphone or tablet. These settings will vary depending on the device. You should see a network with Rainbird in the name. This is the access point for the Link Wi-Fi module, which you will connect to. If you don't see the Link Wi-Fi module, there are a couple of things to check. First, confirm that the Link Wi-Fi module is fully inserted. Next, confirm that the controller has power. Verify that the Link Wi-Fi module is flashing red and green. If it's not flashing, press the button on the front of the Link Wi-Fi module. If the Link Wi-Fi module doesn't start flashing red and green within 30 seconds, please call 1-800-RAINBIRD for assistance. Once you have connected to the Link Wi-Fi module, open the Rainbird app and select Add Controller from the home screen. Click Next twice to skip through the troubleshooting tips we just covered. The Rainbird app will identify the Rainbird controller and ask whether you want to rename it. Change the name to something more intuitive, such as the property address, and click Next. Enter or confirm the zip code, which will be used to determine automatic weather adjustments, such as increasing or decreasing run times based on local weather forecasts. Click Next. For additional security, enter a password that will be used whenever the controller is accessed remotely. This password is used for guest access, should you grant it for the controller by a guest. The password must be at least four characters long. You can change the password at any time. Any guests who had access will be prompted to enter the new password. Click Next. The last step in the setup process is to connect the controller to the local Wi-Fi network. This step is optional, but makes accessing and updating the controller much easier. If you skip this step, you must be connected to the Link Wi-Fi module's hotspot to access the controller. Click Yes to connect the controller to a local Wi-Fi network, enter the Wi-Fi network name, or SSID, followed by the Wi-Fi password, and then click Next. Wi-Fi network names and passwords are often case sensitive, so be sure to enter the data correctly. These Wi-Fi login credentials are securely stored only in the Link Wi-Fi module. They are not stored in the controller, the Rainbird app, or Rainbird servers. Another optional step is to invite others to access your controller. Simply enter their email addresses, and click Next. You will be presented with an email that is ready to send. This email contains all of the necessary information to upload the controller into the Rainbird app installed on their devices. Once the Link Wi-Fi module has successfully connected to the Wi-Fi network, the light on the module will start to blink green. Click on the controller card and configure the controller and its programs as needed. For more information, please watch the Rainbird Mobile App Basic Features video. If you have trouble connecting to the Link Wi-Fi module, please call 1-800-RAINBIRD for assistance or visit us on the web.